a nickname for Beth that I had since grade 10. And Biff Naked was my punk rock stage name when I was in my first band. Because all these guys had cool names, right? Like DOA, the singer's name was Joey Shithead. And SNFU, the singer's name was Chai Pig. You know, they all had these really cool names. So I was Biff Naked. <laughs> I was actually going to call the record Nang Sim, which is Korean for a certain martial arts move that I know, which is really bad for guys. In Sun Hang Do, if you want to, there's this one defense move that you can do that goes beyond kneeing, right? It goes beyond kneeing the guy in the groin. Uh, groin? In the groin. What you do is you take the actual um, sack, the actual male sack, and I'll demonstrate. You pull it out. You pull the sack out, and then you squish it, and that's called Nang Sim. Let's demonstrate it again. Pull it going up, squish it. You go, ah yeah, and that's called Nang Sim. And you were gonna ask, I was gonna call my record. Why? Because <laughs> funny. But it wasn't well. To who? <laughs> not to, to me. Not to Steve, our cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's funny. <laughs> Just out of high school In my first band And I married my drummer Our love was grand I got married for about 10 minutes When I was really young I heard he's married now lives in New Zealand But I had a lot of moment of weaknesses That The moment of weakness is actually about this other guy Not my ex-husband I had ex-husbands when I was 20 Anyways it's actually about another guy who I went to Mexico with. Oh, what a mistake. Don't ever go to Mexico with a guy. Go with your friends. So I almost got married to him. That was my moment of weakness. always seem to make mistakes and it's so funny because I always make lots of mistakes <laughs> especially in the love department I make mistakes just like once a week at least once a week and uh, I never learn any lessons I keep you know falling really deeply deeply in love you know every time so it's like I, didn't, I don't learn anything I don't think there's any reason for people to get cynical. I don't know, you can't be jaded in life. It's pretty stupid, it's a waste of negativity. You should save your negativity for the show and the angst, you should save it for the stage, man. I wonder, wonder how it's gonna go. I got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> That part of being feminine is, you know, the individuality of a woman. Every woman's different, you know, from, uh, you know, big, strong rugby playing girls all the way down to, you know, frail little bony things. And uh, I think that all, all of the qualities that make you a human being are important. And so, I guess, I don't know, I think I was a tomboy when I was a kid. And there I grew boobs, eh? <laughs> Wheelchair was a real treat for me because the, the other harder audience is what I'm kind of accustomed to, you know, and being uh, the token chick on the bill and you know I'm, I'm so used to it that it's like you know very comfortable and doing something like Lilith Fair was a treat like almost a you know a real
privilege. contact from this thing called Wilhelmina Models, but I still think that they got somebody else's pictures. I thought it was, you know, thought it was me or something. I can't, I don't really know. I think that they, you know, are just, I think that there was a mistake there. Uh, so I've been getting coffee for some of the, you know, more leggy models. They're really tall and really skinny, you know, really good looking. And so <clears throat> I just kind of go, you know, get coffee for them sometimes. I don't really have any plans. My hope for America is to crusade the truck stops and make sure they have fresh fruit because they don't have any fruit at truck stops. They don't have any fruit anywhere and any truck stop anywhere you go. It's enchanting. It's like a really enchanting time in my life. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I could just go on tour for like 15 years or something. I just keep playing. I'm having such a good time. Thank you.